Uh-huh. Here we go, huh? Yo, yo, yo! This is Steven Pardini. He was a hip-hop gangster rap artist on his way to becoming a pop culture phenomenon. Unbelievable. Just in one word? Unbelievable. I like to call it stupendous at times. Mm -hmm. Natural, innocent, just fun-loving and easy to be around. You didn't have to worry about putting on a show for him. Such a small, pale little man. There was a certain passion and eccentric verve that was completely overwhelmed by his lack of actual talent. Ooh. I know, I know, really. The first part of his life was covered with a veil of mystery. Steve just wanted to become famous. <laughs> and something I, I always used to say was, I believe in Steve. <laughs> it was just something I always used to say, you know? The a goes behind the music into a personal look at Rapper Steve Pardini. See, Steve didn't really know when we first met him. He was he was all confused and discombobulated. OMG, what are we gonna do? I mean, I'm freaking out. Even from his humble beginnings in Hong Kong, Steve was a man among men. Fueled by his passion, it wasn't long before a new Steve emerged. He was like a lump of clay. We were like the pot of hands with the wheel, and it was like it was like this holy experience. You know, I said, I said, Steve, we will soar to new heights together, and we would have, we would have. But it wasn't long before new tensions started to build. Now he's just out there, he knows everyone, you know, if we're walking, like, I can barely talk to him because he's saying hi to so many people. Stephen Pardini, we will whip you into shape. I don't even remember the question. That's, that's, I think, when it really started to go downhill. Nothing was good enough for Steve, and he'd be in there for days, working on one word. It was crazy. It looked like he never showered, it looked like he never... Uh, put on different clothes. He was always in that white tank top. He um, was undone, as in a Shakespearean tragedy, by a fatal character flaw. He tried way too hard to be something that he's not, something that he doesn't know, and now we see what happened. He really is a disgrace to his culture and to all of humanity. He was a white man in a black man's world, an innocent waif tossed around by cruel fate. Frankly, I was surprised he got out of there without a cat lodged in his ass. Then one day, unwarranted and unexpected, Steve disappeared for half a decade. Just disappeared. I miss that guy. Yeah, I miss him. I just gave so much to Steve and Buddy. Mm -hmm. I just yeah, and we've... Five years after the big debacle, Steve appeared in the small Los Angeles suburb of Yorba Linda. Me and my friends were like playing Pogs over in this uh, back alley over here. You, you remember Pogs? The little... And uh, like he was just like all of a sudden he was like sitting right next to us. <laughs> we call him Crazy Steve. <laughs> it's, it's not that funny, I guess. The brilliant mind that had once dreamed of the dizzying heights of stardom had retreated inside itself, never to return. I don't know whatever happened to Steve. I would like to think that he's selling socks on a sidewalk somewhere and singing as he goes. But it brings me no personal gratification to think of such things. He was one of a kind, for better or for worse. You know, I, I miss Steve. And, and what I've discovered, though, is that I missed Steve before he disappeared. I, I miss the Steve that was underneath the durag, uh, underneath the wife beater, uh, underneath that, that storage lock that he wears around his neck. You know, I wish I could just turn the key on that storage lock because it's locking the real Steve up inside. I, I, I miss it. I miss it. Where is Steve now? Where is this legend, this ghost who left behind a legacy of television, spirituality, and music? Only time can tell what will happen to Stephen Pardini.